Hi, welcome to Direct Numbers. What I'm going to do today is show you how you can use our online management tool to set up a simple IVR platform on your number. Now an IVR is, uh, stands for Interactive Voice Response and it's basically a menu option on your telephone keypad which your customers can listen to and choose which department they want to be routed through to by pressing the appropriate key. So let's begin. Um, if you log into your uh, management tool in a normal way, you get to the home page. Click on the numbers tab at the top. You'll see a list of all the numbers on your account. In this case, I'm going to set up an IVR on this 0203 number here. Click on update. Now you'll be sent to the existing page for that number. So it's currently set up with fax to email. So I'm going to click on the product drop down list and choose the product I want to action on that number. And in this case, it's going to be simple IVR. Now a new page will load up for the simple IVR configuration. Here we are. It's pretty straightforward. This is the number you're going to set up the IVR on. You can give it a description if you want. Let's call it demo. You can put in an email address here if you want your missed calls to be emailed to you as a report. Here's your number and here on the left hand side you can see you've got the days of the week and uh, the 24 hour time scales. So currently it's set Monday to Friday 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. so what I'm gonna do I'm, I'm gonna leave it with that configuration but you can change this to 24 hours or one hour a day whatever you want depending on your hours of business you can give your IVR here another description if you want to and you'll see here you've got the different um, uh, telephone keypad numbers so you can actually configure each uh, number option so if someone pressed one I can configure it to here we go I can configure it with different products so the drop down list here shows I can ring a target number I can disconnect I can repeat the menu I can send it to a call hunt group or I can send it straight to voicemail. Again you've got a description here so let's just put in what I want my option one to be. It'll be for my sales department and in this case I want it to go to a landline and ring so I'll leave it on ring target and I'll put the number I want it to go to. And that's option one set up. Now I'm going to set up option two. I'm going to call this one customer services. Now I'm going to choose the call hunt group for my customer services department because I've got more than one number I want to send the call to. my first target number I'll put that in oh, too many numbers and here we have a time scale so what I'm going to set it at is the first number will be will ring for 15 seconds if that fails I want calls to overflow to my second customer services number I set that to 15 seconds and if that fails the call will be routed through to my third and final number here and so on and so on so you can put in uh, a total of five different hunt group numbers for your um, customer services department or your, your whatever department you want to feature with a, a call hunt group so that's uh, option two set up finally I'm just going to set up a option three just to show you Let's call it out of hours. 
with this option I'm going to choose voicemail and this is basically the option if someone wants to um, leave their message uh, contact details for a callback um, they can uh, choose option three and they'll hear the bespoke greeting that you've uploaded so they are able to leave their details and uh, the voicemail for you um, so that's that set here you've got some different voicemail options for you you can have your voicemails emailed to you you can have it directed to a different alternate number you could play a voicemail greeting and then disconnect the call or you can use the telephone retrieval service to access your voicemails using um, by dialing into our platform and entering your pin code in this case I'm just going to choose the voice to email put in the option here my email address that I want my voicemails to be emailed to spell click on the update button and there it's updated so there you are, I've configured a very simple IVR platform on this 0203 number with three options. Press 1 for sales, press 2 for customer services, press 3 to leave a voicemail out of hours. It runs Monday to Friday, 9am to 5pm and that's all the infrastructure is set up there. All you need to do now is scroll down to the bottom section and this is where you can add your bespoke audio files to the IVR so when someone calls in they'll hear your message um, that you want uh, included so you can see here you've got an in hours intro audio you've got a default out of hours message you've got an IVR menu intro message and a busy message which is also a default you can upload your um, audio files as a WAV file to all of these to have a bespoke IVR service. I'll just show you one. Um, I'll upload a IVR menu intro message. Now what I've done here, I use Windows, so I've used Sound Recorder to record the message I want uh, my customers to hear as a WAV file to my laptop. So you just click on the save file, search for file, find the WAV file audio you want to upload to the platform. that's uploaded click on deploy and activate and there you go by refreshing the status here your web file has now been uploaded to the service so you now have an, a bespoke IVR men, menu intro message and you can listen to it here and it will play it back so if you're happy with it you can um, keep that on your service so there you go that's basically a very simple IVR demonstration using our online management tool and uh, thank you for listening <laughs>